what is up guys welcome back to slick garage so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different um we're going to be working on the headliner on my obs so if you own an obs um they have this plastic that goes back here on top of the headliner and we're going to be installing five six and a halves on there um yeah we're going to be doing some fiberglass work so i already cut the rings out for them for the six and a halves and we're going to be uh taking that piece out the truck is currently at the paint shop um i dropped it off with santiago i already started the little blog on that i haven't finished it um i gotta go back and take some more uh, videos of it and uh, i'll keep you guys posted for that so i'm trying to be proactive right and uh, and make at least a video or two in the time being while the truck's at the paint shop um the truck's getting painted i'll keep that a secret man we'll keep the color a secret but uh santiago already started working on it he does great work he's painted a couple of my buddy's trucks and um yeah we went over there got an appraisal and uh, ended up dropping it off so it should be ready in a couple of weeks i'm gonna say that maybe two months he does have a lot of work going on so um i will be posting his instagram um his facebook and all that good stuff so you guys can contact him uh very good work very reasonable price um yeah so that's good i'll be uploading a video of that hopefully in the next few days here of the progress that he's done on the truck so um another thing guys i am not an expert by any means right i just like doing my own work i've been doing these custom panels maybe for the last two years for my personal trucks right i don't really do it for anybody else i like doing all my own work to my trucks um i learned on youtube honestly there's this guy called uh sprayway customs he does amazing work right um he teaches you how to how to work with fiberglass how to work with bondo um how to how to customize all these pieces right so uh, afraid to try any things man if i can do it anybody else can do it um i'm gonna just show you the process of how i did it on my truck right so so let's get it let's get it i see what's in youtube card on only so que vamos a hacer o qué hora? All right, so that's the the headliner panel that goes on top, and I'm gonna be doing some six and a halves. What do I do? Just got some rings out of wood, six and a halves. I know they're not perfect, but everything will even out. Um, I was gonna do five initially, like this. And then fiberglass everything but i think we're only gonna do four um i just got the center on this one on the plastic and then just divided it as you can tell but like i said i'll probably do four six and a half and i'll do two tweeters in the middle just so i don't have that much of a slant here i apologize for the mess i tell roger el roger all right, so the rings are in place where we want them. We're using some tack. Some tack spray adhesive. We're going to spray the bottom of this. We're going to spray the, the fabric. And then once it's dried up, once it gets tacky, then we'll put it together. We're going to fold it over. All right, so there we have it. We already glued the back half. Get us that and then we're gonna spray the rings and we're gonna spray the bottom half of this and then we're gonna stretch it out once it gets tacky we're gonna spray spray the back of the fabric and we're gonna spray the rings and this plastic and then we're gonna fold it over and make it just stretch and then we'll start doing our resin and after everything's dry we'll do a coat of resin on that just to make sure it's not gonna come off let's get it All right, there you have it, guys. So, all these little imperfections here, they still we're still gonna have to put a coat of resin. If you don't know what resin is, it, it hardens up. It's what they mix uh, fiberglass with. So we're gonna put a coat of resin on it, all of it, and um, all these imperfections and stuff. We're gonna put fiberglass over, and then we're gonna bondo everything. And yeah, aquí está el rojo poniendo el el valens de una S10, doing an S10 valens on his little Nissan hard body. Look. 
Oh yeah, and then they're also doing these little panels here. They're drying out right now. Oh, Roger also took his bench sheet out and did bucket seats on the little hard body. It's a little daily. So this is what it looks like. So this material is a little bit different than the one we're using. This is fleece. I'm not 100% sure what the material we're using is called. It's just thinner. Um, yeah, but y'all stay tuned for the finished product for this. That's where the seat goes. That's where they're gonna go. So that's what he has right now. So instead of having them in the trunk, los va a poner ahí en las puertas. Pero prendelo, papi. He does have some nice wheels on it. Some, I don't know what they are. ¿Qué? ¿Qué tamaño? I think they're like, like some 17s with like a little lip, but he's putting tires on them. So that's the resin. Let me show the resin, Kenny. That's the resin you buy it at uh, Home Depot. This is what makes it harden up. And then, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do the first coat and we'll go from there. So it is currently the next day. I know we have some imperfections, but this next step will cover everything up. As you guys can tell, it's really, really, really hard. So we're gonna go ahead and put some fiberglass on this. This is the fiberglass. You buy it at O'Reilly's, uh, Home Depot, anywhere, AutoZone, fiberglass mat. They do sell one that's, uh, so this is pretty much like a sheet. I'll show you guys right now. And they sell another one that's like all broken up in pieces, but this is the one we're using. So what I'm gonna be doing is pretty much cutting out with the scissors, like the shape of this. Um, I'll be doing like a full sheet back here the the whole thickness of this i'm gonna be cutting out sheets so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a layer of resin a layer of resin down that part this that's pretty much like what holds it down and then on top of the resin we're gonna put um a layer of fiberglass and then on top of the fiberglass we're gonna go ahead and put more resin and you let that dry that's when the bodywork uh goes in place the whole uh, we're gonna bundle it right bundle it so I know this looks ugly, but like I said, we'll put one sheet of uh, fiberglass here on top of there like, like this, and it'll cover all that stuff up. So yeah, let's get to it. So we got our resin ready. I'm gonna do that first coat, like I said, then we'll come back and put the fiberglass over. for a little bit and then we'll start doing the we'll start doing the face or the lower half as well well there you have it that's probably i don't know 30 minutes in the sun really 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 sturdy i'm gonna repeat the process right here just to make all this stronger too i don't want to have no i don't want it to be loose like that so once we do the fiberglass it will all be um nice and strong so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and knock it out.
just go put it in the sun, let it dry for a little bit, and we come back out and uh, start sanding it down and getting it ready for, for uh, Bondo, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. That was about 30 minutes of it drying in the sun. Pretty sturdy now. Um, this is just so you guys can get an idea how it's going to look. I am going to be running PRVs. That's uh, only got three of them here. I got one of them upstairs, and I got to order another one. So, yeah. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to be pretty much making this smooth and painting it like the color of the interior. Maybe like a pewter color. Um, so it can kind of match the interior. So what are we doing next? We're going to be doing some Bondo. Um, got it out of Riley's. Some 80 grit um, sanding block. This is the hardener that it comes with. Same thing, right? You mix a little bit. You add a couple drops of this and it, that's what makes it uh, harden up. I bought some extra hardener. You always need some extra. I always like to put a little bit more just to do the job faster, you know, so it can dry in a couple minutes. And um, and then this is to spread it out. So yeah, let's uh, let's get it. dried up that's just the first little step i'm gonna hit it with the da um 80 grit that's the da right there harbor fried gotta love it um i did hit it with 36 a little bit this is uh, pretty much like a rock <laughs> if you guys don't know about uh sanding paper a lot the lower the number the rougher it is so this is 36 that's like super super rough and then um 80 is a little bit better a little bit smoother still pretty rough so we're gonna um this is pretty much how we're going to determine all the low spots like right here as you can tell right here right here and then that's when we'll come back and do that second round of, of bondo and we'll go for it all right so that's after sending the first uh, pass of bondo like you can tell, those are our low spots right there, right there, right here. Gotta add a little bit more bondo here, right here. This is like the worst uh, step right here, adding the bondo, shaping it up, but we're getting there. The DA definitely helps. There's mixing pants from Harbor Freight too. I really recommend it. It helps out a lot. And yeah, let's go ahead and put another coat of bondo and uh, we'll go from there. So everything is pretty much done on the face of it. Oh yeah, Bobby. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, there was a couple low spots right here, so I put a little bit of bondo there, and then I had this left. I bonded it right now. We're gonna hit it with 80 grit again, and then we'll primer it. It's getting late. We'll finish it tomorrow. <laughs>
So next step is clean it all up. We're gonna go ahead and primer, that way we can see all the imperfections and we'll go from there. The next day, I went about the paint. This is what matches up pretty close to the factory. We got the clear coat. I do have the compressor and everything to do it with the gun, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with spray paint. Um, Came up pretty good. Grabbed it with dirty hands. We got some 400 uh, grit sandpaper soaking in water. We're gonna wet sand it, let it dry up, and we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and spray. So everything's nice and smooth. I'm gonna hit it with the water hose real quick, let it dry out, and then we're gonna go ahead and spray it. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit, then we're gonna hit it with the second pass. have it there's a finished product i am gonna order one more and uh yeah unfortunately we can't put it on the trucks at the paint shop so we'll go ahead and put it on when we get the truck back that's another little project we got going on at the slick shop um that's just the first step i'm gonna be making i'm gonna be recording one for my truck they call it they call it the titty panels and I'll record the whole process whenever I do it for my crew cam. It's pretty much the same thing as uh, the panel that I just did. So maybe you want to do some custom panels for your car. You have some questions, feel free to send me a message on Instagram. It's the same uh, name as my YouTube, Slick Garage, and uh, I'll be glad to help you guys out. That is going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.